Hello everybody, I want to show you one of my early phono stage I built in 2006. This are the phono stages. This is the phono stage main board. That's the power supply. And all of these are super cap. It has a total of 350 ferrets of capacitance or 350 million microfarads of capacitance with that capacitance it can run about two and a half hours without AC from the wall now this phono stage has gone through two owners and been through maybe three to four modifications originally you can see the brass disc at the bottom that was the original owner intention to use the brass disc and cone and then the second owner replaced it to a rubber feet actually it's a metal feet with a rubber ring at the bottom and then he also wanted to add on the extra MC input original only have one pair extra MC input and then I add a selector switch on the back to select the this MC input and or this one and now it came back to add on a MM input and that's also the selector switch between the MC and MM and it's ready to go I have tested it but this is a very big power supply all consider everything has a mixture of super cap at the front here and the regular cap at the back and the reason is by using just super cap it is a slow response so you have to put some regular cap in order to have the uh, fast transient for the music but this was built originally built in 2006 the super cap are still working fine despite the slightly changes of capacitance I have checked them and they still working fine, no need to trim, but it does move a little bit. It's, some of them are not as even, but it's still within the rated voltage of each cap, so therefore no need to trim at this moment. And every time you, you come back to do some trimming, it is, it is a very time consuming process and therefore costs money. So if it doesn't need to be trimmed, and this uh, customer is actually fa fairly local, so he can come back anytime but other than that this thing is in good conditions I just want to show you guys I have been working with super cap since 2006 or even earlier I just can't remember exactly what date or what year um, I have been starting working on super cap but that was around that time back then I also have used new tricks Powercon Blue as an AC inlet. It wasn't very popular back then because Audiophile wanted to use their own power cord to to play with the power cord. And uh, even today, they want to do that. So I switched back to a regular IEC. But in a very future, very near future, I will be offering hard wiring on some of the model. And because somebody is recognizing the connections is the one of the most important things to pay attention to which is also a weakest point all the connections are the weakest point if you can improve any of the connections you go a, a lot uh, you, go, go, you go forward a lot so hard wire on the AC power cord is actually a good idea but again audio file like to play with power cord so sometimes we have to do what the customer wants but this customer want hard wire now this this particular customer for the phono stage it will be leaving for the uh, nitrix blue power cord and that's the end of the video i think that's all i need to tell you about this phono stage see you later bye